So from KitchenAid, ooh, but this is the pro. This is the one that has the powerful engine. It is 575 watts, six quarts, and we are including so much here. You're getting a $600 value, close to $600 value. You're saving about $250. We're gonna break it all down to you for you, but first, uh, you gotta figure out what color you're gonna use because KitchenAid is jewelry for your home. You leave this stand mixer out on your counter. It's the first thing people see when they come into your home. How about this one? Let's start here. Exclusive pistachio. Is that gorgeous or what? Okay, we've only got about 210 of the pistachio. I think those will go this night as you're watching right now. If you're watching at midnight, you get first dibs. How about majestic yellow? also exclusive to HSN. Kind of a beautiful butter yellow. Oh, this one is even more limited than, than the pistachio. Um, in the 200s, in the majestic yellow, look at this gorgeous matte white. I know that's gonna be so popular. Only here at HSN. Not just this value, but this color is only here at HSN. Then we've got your, let's stick with, let's stick with exclusive, actually, if we can pop back over here. Because we've got the passion red only here at HSN, that gorgeous cherry red, as opposed to the Empire Red, a little bit deeper. Then we've got the silk pink, a beautiful kind of a shimmery pink. Oh, kind of matches my ring. Under, oh, under 200 in the silk pink. And then we've got two blues for you. Now, these ones you can get in the marketplace. You cannot get this price anywhere. It's the lowest price we have found by far. Blue velvet, that true blue, kind of a cornflower blue. And then we have aqua sky. Isn't that a cool, almost like a Tiffany blue there in the aqua sky. And then last but not least, we've got your contour silver. So you've got a choice to make tonight, but you've got the most choices as you're tuning in at midnight. Nine different color options. Options. Now here's the value. You see the KitchenAid. You know it's the number one stand mixer, and really has been the number one stand mixer since 1919 when KitchenAid invented it and created this iconic um, classic. It should be $549, and we are including. Oh, wait until you see this flex edge beater. We're including it. Yes, of course you get the you get the flat beater, you get the dough hook, you get the wire whip, you get the pour shield, and you get the power of the Pro 600 stand mixer with the bowl lift design. I'm excited because look, you can make 13 dozen cookies at a time, you can make eight pounds of potatoes at a time, or you can just make your famous Sunday omelet for one if you want to. Amy Garten is here cooking for Hi, us, an army, my friend. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Oh you know my what? goodness. Iconic, the cookies, right? It's iconic. When you think of, you know, of course your stand mixer, you think of baking cookies. Mm -hmm. And when we think of holiday season, we think of baking cookies. But what I'm going to show you is what makes this uh, mixer so special compared to maybe what you might have. I'm going to turn this off for one second. This is the iconic bowl lift stand Ooh. mixer. So you think like the original stand mixer that KitchenAid ever made was a bowl lift. And why was it a bowl lift? Because it was on naval ships, so it had to feed all those men and women on the ships. So you know it had to be sturdy, oh, yeah. strong, durable, have capacity. Well, this has that six quart, this stainless steel with that easy, comfortable grip right there on the side that just gets easy, easy to grab. Stainless steel six quart fits so much inside. It's the all metal construction. This, these things are built to last. They are gonna last forever. And of course, that power hub right in the front, that power hub has been the same since 1919. So any attachments you already have, they are gonna fit inside this power hub. So go ahead and pass your KitchenAid oh, down yes. to a you know, granddaughter or a daughter mm -hmm. or daughter-in-law or son-in-law and then get yourself a new one. Your, all your attachments are still gonna fit. Yes. But what I wanna show you here is I just wanna show you the difference between a stand lift and, a, and like a tilt head. A, stand, a bowl lift, you've got this handle on the side mm -hmm. and I just drop it down, the bowl oh. drops. I have so much room to add my ingredients. Um, and then you can just lift it back up with this handle. It locks secure into place. They're made to do that heavy lifting. Oh, so yeah. we think cookies, they're really thick. Just think how hard it is on your hand to turn and mm. mix and try to thoroughly mix everything. I mean, look at all these delicious <gasps> cookies. And you that's like not even half of that's what you can make. Half. You can do 13 dozen. 13 dozen cookies, and I'm going to show you how to do that. And then on okay. top of it, we're getting this great pour shield right here, which I'm gonna, it's so easy. It's just got three tabs that just sit right on the outside of it. And then instead of that big puff, 
when we add flour, mm -hmm. it's gonna kind of eliminate that because I can just nice. simply pour it in. We have 10 speeds and I love, it has a slow start. So when I turned it on, it doesn't just blast me, mm -hmm. but it has a nice slow start. So it kind of starts and then gets going. Nice. So it's not gonna puff either, but watch this. As I turn it up a little bit, I'm gonna add my flour. It makes it so easy to add the flour because I've got this nice, little pour spout right there. And then I'm not making a big mess. I can kind of add it very slowly, incorporate it into all my ingredients. And then of course I'm using the flex edge beater, which you're getting, mm -hmm. the flex edge beater with this. And I love that because it's like a windshield wiper, scraping the sides of the bowl. And it's gonna incorporate all my ingredients. And of course we call it planetary action with the KitchenAid. Well, what that really means is it means that it's gonna thoroughly mix everything. Um, all together, going to mix it and blend it more than what your hand could do. Or even oh, it's so mixer. creamy. Oh, my goodness. If you've ever tried to cream, I I've never tried to right? cream 13 dozen cookies 13 all at once. Dozen. It's going to be like your assistant. So this deal is a one day only. Our today special for today. The lowest price by far that we have found. You're saving $250. You get this on five flexible payments. That's any credit card. If you're new to HSN, you're probably not new to KitchenAid. You've either been covered it or you've gotten one handed down to you or you bought one and you're kind of eyeing some of these new colors this is your day to get it $70 on any credit card we ship it to you for free and not only are we shipping this to you for free which is great because this is 16 and a half inches tall it is a big mama jam it's going to stay right there on your countertop where everybody can eye it and, and and love it but if you buy this we ship it to you for free it unlocks free shipping and handling on everything until midnight tonight so you get an entire 20 well 23 and a half hours maybe to to get free shipping and handling on everything because if you spend $75 or more we ship it all to you for free on that day so this is an easy easy do if you're new to HSN we're so glad that you're here these are some of these are exclusive colors but this is KitchenAid the KitchenAid that is the number one stand mixer in all of America the one that you have eyed the one that you have coveted the all metal so it, this is not a $350 machine this is a $600 value that you're getting today for $349 so honestly Amy I mean it there's so much to talk about with this and it is 16 and a half inches high but because you're not doing the the you're not doing lift, the tilt right head. the yep. tilt head that's what it's called yep. so it really fits so nicely even under counters you kind of see the red uh, behind me that's even lower than a standard counter but it still fits so nicely our sorry cabinet it still fits, nice. fits so nicely and then again you don't have to tilt it with the bowl yep. lift you are just grabbing that hand on the side dropping it down you have so much room around you to put in whatever ingredients you're using and then you just bring it back up and it's locked you've got mm. these arms that are holding your six quart stainless Ooh. steel bowl in place that six quart is such a big deal because not only can you fit 13 dozen cookies, but you could also just do one dozen cookies. You could do one egg. You could do small things. You and don't you have to do think savory. Big. I yes. love that. This is the pistachio. Yep. You can only get it here. The so let's see this. It. When you said savory, yeah, what you so got in there? Think outside the box. Like we think stand mixers. And so we're thinking, you know, well, I've got to make cakes and bake. But if you're not a baker, that's okay. I am not the number one chef. I'm not a number one baker, but I'm telling you, my kitchen aid makes me think I am. So, so I've got my chicken, chicken. in here. Yep. And this is going to shred your chicken for you so instead of you having to go and take a fork and do everything for you on the side you get to put it right here inside your KitchenAid it's gonna do all the work for you so whether you're making chicken tacos whether you're making chicken enchiladas I'm gonna make a great chicken dip in here it's just really gonna do the work for you and again it's gonna take that everyday cooking and make it fun again for you it's not just about baking but it's how do I make every single night a little bit fun so I'm gonna mm -hmm. make you a chicken queso dip and I've Ooh, used I use my supermarket that. shortcuts because I'm just adding a jar of queso Ooh, Monday I night football Sunday night, night football Sunday right football oh my goodness. I mean, yeah. yeah and of course the holidays I mean thinking about everything that you can do with this such a big capacity with the six quart typically if you were thinking you know what I may or may not use all six quarts I'm gonna go a little bit less expensive and yeah. get you know a five quart this is less expensive than the smaller models and this is the pro yeah. so it's more powerful we're including including the extra blade that should be about $50. Yes. And you're gonna use this all the time. So I'm getting so many different ideas. If this is powerful enough to shred yes. that chicken, it's gonna shred the chicken out. Watches. And we have, it goes up to 10 speeds. So it's 575 watts of power here. I have up to 10 speeds. I don't even have it up that high, but look how it's shredded and thoroughly mixed all my ingredients all mm. together. And I can actually back away. I don't even have to 
work hard. Like I'm not doing any work. The machine is doing the work for me. They really are built to last and built to just do your every, they just, mm -hmm. they make everything stand out. Yeah. They just make to stand out. Oh my goodness. And just make every day more fun to be back in the kitchen and be doing things, whether it's sweet, whether it's savory, mm. you can just look how beautifully mm. it incorporated all my chicken, all my ingredients that are in there. And, that's, and I'm just using the flat beater right there that you get with it. Yeah, and um, that was and I, seconds. My goodness, yes. by the way, CJ Shannon, love the name. Um, <laughs> I use my KitchenAid to shred chicken a lot more than two forks. I love it. Um, Diana says, she doesn't have a KitchenAid mixer now, but she's used them before. They are workhorses. That's a great name for these, Diana. They, workhorses yeah. in the kitchen. This is the workhorse, I tell you. So I'm going to show but you. It looks like the show horse. <laughs> it looks oh, like yeah, a show right? horse, but, it, but it's a workhorse. So this, I'm going to make it a little whipped cream here. I'm going to put in my ingredients. I like to use instant pudding, a little powdered sugar, and then of course some vanilla, um, some vanilla flavoring in there. The instant pudding, what it really does is it just kind of makes it stand up. It gives it that stability, so you can put it in your fridge, it'll last you a couple days, and it'll be amazing. It'll just change your world with your whipped yeah. cream. I don't know about your house or who's in your house, Amy, <laughs> but in my house, if whipped cream lasted a couple days, that would mean we had to be on vacation. Um, whipped cream does not last. I'm one of those people who's like, would you like a little slice of pumpkin pie with your whipped cream? Like, here's your bowl of whipped cream. Yeah. Get it, a little bit of pumpkin pie. Well, you would definitely have that with this. But oh. I love, so I'm using the wire whisk here, and what I love about it is that, again, it really is doing the work for you. You could stand there with a hand mixer and you can mix that by yourself. But what I love is that you can just, you put your really, really cold whipping cream in here, a little instant pudding, a little powdered sugar, a little vanilla flavor. Mm. If you want to do an espresso or whatever flavor whipped cream you want to do, you can add that in there and make that fun whipped cream again. And it's just easy. I mean, like I just easy. put it in, I walk away. And again, I love, it's that all metal construction. It's the six quart, so... You can really do the big batches, but you can even do the small batches because all of our beaters, they come so close to the edge. They mm -hmm. come so close to the bottom. So no matter how much or how little you put in there, it's all gonna fit in there. And now look how beautiful mm. my whipped cream is. Gorgeous. And Shannon, I'm just gonna, you know, grab a little whipped cream for you here on the side. Let me just move my... Oh my goodness. Oh, and that silver is so popular right now. The a lot of people are saying how they love so how it'll beautiful. match. <gasps> okay. I'm not doing a great job. That cream is so but it's thick and creamy. And it's so thick and it's my so creamy. My goodness. I'm going to use my fork here to kind of help a little bit. But it's really <laughs> standing angel food up. food cake sandwich. I love it. Cake. And I have to tell I gotta you put my about Facebook down. Cake. <laughs> Absolutely. Actually, you know what? We want to do, oh, we want to show you because this is the classic from 1919, all obviously upgraded and updated. But as you were saying, Amy, yeah. even if you have uh, if you have this or you have other attachments from it, any other KitchenAid stand mixer, they yeah. will work. So we do have, we've got some great, um, some great attachments that I wanted to run through. <laughs> so you did feed me food and then, and then I got to walk over here. Hi, ah. Shannon. Um, <laughs> All right, but we, I know we only have about, we only have about 100 in each one of these additions. So um, let's talk about the pastry beater. So the pastry beater is if you're making, think about, you know, all the pie crusts and all the biscuits that you really just want to be that mm. flaky and yummy mm. and that little buttery taste in there. The pastry beater, really what it does is it cuts that cold butter into that flour. Oh. So you're really getting those pockets and you're getting that flakiness that you want from those pie crusts and those biscuits and croissants and things like that. Fabulous. Just so those are on sale too. I